Hey everybody, it's Jack and welcome back. Today is yet again another penny stock review and analysis video. In today's video, I'll be talking about a one of a kind company in the technology sector that by investing into, you actually gain exposure to over 20 smaller disruptive technology companies. This is a great way to invest in one company and gain access to a lot of other companies that you would otherwise not be able to invest in on the stock market. I do want to come out and say that this is a sponsored video, so always remember to do your own due diligence and research. However, that being said, I do currently own shares of this company, and it is one that I'm excited about moving forward in the years to come. It's got a lot of things going for it, which I'll get into into this video. It's also been a highly requested video down in the comments by you guys watching. So I really appreciate it. And let's dive right in. So the company I'll be reviewing and analyzing today is Victory Square Technology. What Victory Square Technology does is they are a company that has an extensive network into the startup accelerator programs across Canada and the USA. And what they do is they find these brand new startup companies that are in the disruptive technology space and they go in and either acquire a percentage of the company or buy the entire company and they help build them up through providing them hands-on experience or the resources they need in order to scale. Then they scale these companies up to the point where some of them have even gone public and IPO'd, which we'll get into. Victory Square Technologies currently has over 20 companies that it either partially or fully owns within its portfolio. These companies are all vastly different across different parts of the technology sector. We're talking artificial intelligence, AR, VR, sports betting, fintech, crypto and blockchain, telemedicine, just to name a few. Victory Square really reaches into every part of the technology sector that is being disrupted currently and expected to grow extremely fast over the next few years. So by investing in Victory Square Technologies, you're almost investing in the ARK Innovation ETF of Canada. You're getting exposure to a wide range of different disruptive technology companies that are innovating in their own respective fields and are in sectors and parts of the technology space that are really supposed to grow extremely well over the next few years. This is a really neat opportunity that you can't get with a lot of different companies. You get access to these companies in the early stages when they have not grown to their full potential and you get to realize those gains through Victory Square. If you are in Canada like me, Victory Square technology trades under the Canadian Securities Exchange under the ticker symbol VST. And if you're in the United States, you can get access to Victory Square through the OTC markets under the ticker symbol VSQTF. So in today's video, to analyze and review Victory Square technologies, I'll dive a little deeper into the business model and what exactly is that Victory Square does and how they achieve these results. I'll do a couple case studies of companies they've already scaled up and companies they currently have in the pipeline with exciting news and events coming up within the next few months. We'll get into all of that. We'll also look into the management team as that is an important part of any company. And after that, we'll dive into the financials. We'll look at the balance sheet and income statement of Victory Square Technologies. And then finally, I'll wrap it up by going over the stock chart and doing a little bit of technical analysis on Victory Square Technologies. So let's dive into it. We've got a lot to cover in this video. I hope you enjoy. Victory Square Technologies currently trades at 83 cents per share and has a overall market cap of $63 million. So it is a fairly small company. We can see that Victory Square has been performing very consistently over the past six months, increasing at a very steady rate in its share price, while a lot of other companies and growth stocks specifically have seen quite significant sell-offs. But before we dive too much into the stock price and stock charts, let's first look at the company and business. Let's touch on Victory Square's business model in a little bit more detail. Their core business model is working as an accelerator or incubator for innovative companies that are disrupting the technology space. They go out and find small private companies that are solving real world problems related to the fastest growing technology fields. When they find a company that fits this criteria, they then go ahead and acquire either a portion or the entire company. And once they've done this, they bring the company into their network that they utilize to its full capabilities to help incubate and then scale the company up help it grow to the point where it's either cash flow positive to be highly profitable companies and have the possibility of going public and IPOing to at that point, Victory Square either decides to liquidate some of its capital and sell out at massive gains from their initial position, or they continue to guide and assist the company into the future. Victory Square currently owns over 20 companies within its portfolio, with some companies only owning about 5%, while others it owns the entire company 100%. Their companies cover a wide range of some of the fastest growing technology sectors. We're talking artificial intelligence, online sports betting, telehealth, 
augmented reality, and virtual reality. And just to name a few, there are many more. So by investing in Victory Square, you can really get exposure to some of these up and coming technology spaces that are among some of the fastest growing fields. Taking a look at the management team for Victory Square and kicking it off at the top with the CEO and founder, Shafin. Shafin is a man with an enormous amount of past experience in the startup space. He's helped launch over 40 startups in over 20 different countries to generate 1 billion in enterprise value. So a lot of experience when it comes to growing startups and he's won numerous awards and top honors when it comes to being one of Canada's top entrepreneurs and investors. So a very qualified man at the helm and when it comes to the rest of the management team, they have decades of experience combined and extreme expertise when it comes to sales and growing and scaling companies. If you wanna learn more about them, I'll put a link down below to the company website where you can read a little bit more in depth. Another thing to note when it comes to management and ownership is that the inside ownership for Victory Square is at 14.7%, which is always great to see. You like to have a company where ownership and management have skin in the game and own a substantial part of the company. So now that we've gone over the business model of Victory Square Technologies and dived a little bit deeper into what it is exactly that they do as a company, and we've talked about the management team and shown that there's effective and capable people in charge that will help lead the company in growth over the next few years. Let's now dive in and look at a few of my favorite companies within Victory Square Technologies portfolio that really get me excited as a shareholder for the things to come. The first company that I wanna to briefly touch on and show to you is the initial company that Victory Square Technologies scaled and brought public. It is Fans Unite. Fans Unite is a sports and entertainment company that focuses on the technology behind online sports betting. Not only do they do regular sports betting, but they actually also do esports betting, which is pretty cool. Victory Square currently owns about 6% of Fans Unite. Fans Unite currently trades at around a dollar per share Canadian and has a market capitalization of around $182 million. Fans Unite went public in May of 2020. And since then, you can see that it's done pretty well for itself, going up over 177%. And Victory Square Technology is able to get into these companies before they even go public and then sees these amazing returns from its investment after the initial public offering. The next portfolio company that I wanna highlight of Victory Square Technology is one that plans to go public in the next month or two. It's Game On, and Victory Square currently owns 30% of Game On. So what exactly does Game On do? Well, Game On is a company that develops mobile and TV apps that make it easier for fans and users to interact with their favorite TV shows or sports games. Users can join in on free to play contests and polls for cash prizes, which leads to a lot more engagement and interaction among fans and users. Let me now highlight some really exciting news that has come out in the last few months about Game On. The first item on the list is that Game On has added some expertise to its board of directors through Liz Schimmel, who was most recently head of business at Apple News. The second item is that Game On just recently went through a round of investment where they raised almost $6 million. Their original goal was to raise 1.5 million, but they had such a demand from new investors wanting to get in that they kept on raising this. The third item is that they've been adding even more well-rounded members to their board advisory and team that cover a wide range of both gaming and online betting, giving them well-diversified experience. And then lastly, Game On has reserved the ticker symbol GET get as their trading symbol and it plans to go public in the next month or so. And it is estimated that when they go public, their market capitalization will be roughly between 15 to $20 million. And keep in mind that Victory Square Technologies owns 30% of Game On. So that was Game On. Let's now focus on another portfolio company of Victory Square Technologies that plans to go public within the next few months. This is one that Victory Square Technology owns 100% of and it's Immersive Tech, an AR slash VR company. Immersive Tech is a company that designs, programs, builds, and installs immersive and engaging experiences for some of the world's leading companies through a blend of video game development, theme park engineering, and the latest VR slash AR technologies. So they create custom and creative experiences such as for augmented reality or escape rooms. And like I said, they already have an amazing list of clients, which is really impressive to see for a company of this size and being so small, they've already built up a well-established client base. Another thing I'm really excited about with immersive tech and one that I think can be a real revenue generator down the line for both immersive tech and in turn Victory Square Technologies is its new 4D shipping container solution 
for an immersive experience that it's launching this summer in 2021. Their new shipping container experience is a COVID safe outdoor attraction that basically takes up no space as it's just a shipping container. So it can be plopped down and run easily anywhere that has electricity. And what's exciting about this is that their business model is to franchise out these containers. So basically anyone who wants one can purchase one and run it themselves. So say you're a theme park owner or any other tourist attraction and you want one of these immersive experiences at your destination, you can just franchise it out and run it yourself. Immersive tech collects this revenue as a lot of upfront costs as well as recurring annual revenue based off of licensing fees and franchising fees. Another exciting event is that Immersive Tech has partnered with famous illusionist and magician Chris Ramsey. They are planning an exclusive experience for all of his social media channels. So in combination, that makes up over 6.4 million users. So this is a great promotional event that will hopefully get Immersive Tech's name out there a bit more to other potential clients. One last piece of news about Immersive Tech that I wanna share with you all is the fact that they just added three pretty killer members to their board of advisors. One who is a former Walt Disney Imagineer, the people who create and design Disney theme parks. The second was named one of the top 10 most influential women in tech in 2020. And the third is one of the co-founders of Club Penguin, one of the largest gaming platforms for kids ever built. So that was immersive tech. Another one of Victory Square Technologies portfolio companies that plans to go public in the next few months. And remember that Victory Square Technologies owns 100% of immersive tech. So those are just a handful of the companies within Victory Square's portfolio. Remember, they have over 20 companies. So there are a lot more that I'm not able to cover in this video. If you do want to learn more about them, you can go to Victory Square Technologies website, which I'll link down below. And they have more descriptions on every single one of the companies that they own. So it is pretty crazy that by buying this one stock, you get exposure to all of these great companies that are really doing some exciting and disruptive things in the technology space. So now let's take a look at the financial statements of Victory Square Technology and look at the balance sheet and income statement. So I have opened the quarter three 2020 financial statements. I'm looking at the balance sheet currently. Unfortunately, the year end or quarter four financial reports have not yet been released by Victory Square. They're planned to be released by the end of April. However, I'll do my best to fill in the gap. Let's first look at the current assets to current liabilities ratio. This is a great ratio that tells us in the short term how the financials are looking for the company. So looking at the current assets for Victory Square, they are $2,313,645 compared to the current liabilities, which are $2,537,658 which results in a ratio of 0 0.92. Ideally, we want this ratio to be above one, which means if anything were to happen in the short term, their assets outweigh their liabilities, which is always a good thing. However, this is pretty close to one, and I actually think that it is above one at the current moment in time. Victory Square Technology raised around $6 million in the last few months, so I think this ratio could be well above one at the time of filming this. Another thing worth pointing out on the balance sheet is that their investments total $22 million. Looking now at the income statement to see how the revenue and earnings for Victory Square Technology were, we can see that the revenue for the quarter was around $583,000 compared to over 2 million for the same quarter the year prior. So down quite a lot. And comparing the nine months, we can see that it's around a million dollars compared to 2019, it was over 3 million. So again, quite a difference, but I don't know if this is the best measure when it comes to Victory Square because they're not a company that has a constant product that they're selling in order to gain their revenue. They're dealing with entire companies. So taking that into consideration and looking at this line right here, fair value gain on investment, because Victory Square is an investment company, you can see that in the last quarter, they had over $9 million in gains on their investments. And in the total year, they had over 10 million compared to the previous year where it was under half a million. So huge gains on their investment. And the majority of this is due to their position in Fans Unite that went public like I showed in May 2020. And this actually doesn't even count the majority of their gains from Fans Unite because this report is from September 2020. And Fans Unite has gone up by more than 300% since then. So this will be seen in the next earning report which is extremely exciting for Victory Square. So if we now look at net income, we can really start to see the growth of Victory Square with a net income for the quarter being over 9 million compared to the same quarter the year prior, they lost over $300,000. So we can see some really nice income growth. And I think with the new portfolio companies that Victory Square is bringing public in the next few months, 
I think we're going to see this number continue to grow over the next few years. So now that we've gone through the financials of Victory Square Technologies, we touched on both the balance sheet and income statement. Let's now take a deeper look at the stock chart for Victory Square over the past few months and see if we can analyze it a bit further. So as previously shown, Victory Square currently trades at 83 cents per share. If we look at the stock chart and analyze it, we see that there's a bit of a pattern forming and it's in a steady upwards pattern. We see there's a strong support level on this bottom line and a strong resistance level at this top line and we see that victory square trades in the upwards direction between these two levels and it's been doing so over the past few months and you can see that victory square at 83 cents is currently trading down near the support level so if you are looking to invest in victory square i recommend drawing these two lines so that you can tell if you're potentially getting in at a good entry point for this trend and making sure that you're not buying at the top line at the resistance level. So there you have it. That is Victory Squares Technologies. Just to quickly recap, again, this is a company that takes small startup companies and helps grow them and scale them up to larger and more profitable companies in the future. They have a great past track record when it comes to the startups and companies that they help. And they currently have over 20 companies within their portfolio that they are helping to scale and operate. What excites me the most about Victory Square is that they have two portfolio companies that are IPOing within the next few months, Immersive Tech and Game On. I think both of these IPOs are going to be successful and really help be a catalyst for Victory Square's technology as a company going into the future. By being a Victory Square shareholder, you get exposure to a lot of these small innovative companies in the technology field that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get access to. And remember, I am a shareholder of Victory Square Technologies. It's a company that I'm truly excited about over the next few years. And I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. A lot more content coming your way. Again, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.